past three decades, I've been in the industry in terms of the entertainment video, in terms of uh, computers, all the related industry up to now. Because before you see, you don't have the internet yet. I'm already in the pay TV business. So from pay TV, I went to dial up days. Then I went to Purportani like cable internet. Then I switched this because of the track record I built for past 20 plus years, all the way from Central Luzon up to Upper Northern Luzon and South Luzon. I became, became a uh, one of the biggest pay TV operator outside Metro Manila. I applied a congressional franchise. So we got that a congression of Francis by 2012. The technology I started in uh, video up to today in KPTB uh, and transform. The technology transform every certain period of time. So that's why I keep that technology up to today present in the telecommunication segments. This is part of my passion because uh, uh, passion, innovation in terms of technology and I'm seeing we are the lowest speed internet we are the highest internet price in terms of Southeast Asia sad to say in terms of even the telecommunication segment in terms of mobile we are the least tower throughout Southeast Asia and compared to Ghana and Myanmar they are better than Philippines in terms of cell site penetration. So I passionate with the technology. I stay focused on what I'm doing. So I'm thinking when to display TV, when to this internet. So this is coincide to my direction. That's why we have a conference now. You need to understand the needs of the uh, consumer. Number one, Philippines, as of today, we have 70 million Facebook users. And Filipino are the youngest, ages, middle, median age throughout Asia Pacific, average of 27 age. 11 million of Filipino uh, stay outside of our country. Either they living abroad or they are OFW. And they contribute to 30 billion of our uh, remittance to the country is only 6% of the household penetration as of today. So we have 25 million and 1.5 million have high-speed internet in this country. Stay laser focused to develop and to give our consumer better, stable, fast, reliable internet. The biggest challenge I have, I tell you, is it's not easy to come into Metro Manila. This is a bigger challenge in the industry. I started from provinces, but to ambition to come into Metro Manila, it's not easy. I bring, bring latest technology called micro trenching. We cut the road at two inches and we restore the same thing. So we put this, in a, this is the first in the Philippines. And we have proper tally that technology, we have 13 machines. We are laser focused on our niche market, the penetration of the high-speed internet with fiber to fiber end-to-end -end technology. That's our focus. We don't have wireless. We don't have this uh, mobile. My goal is to bring this technology to hopefully, if I can bring to 50% of the household of the Filipinos throughout the Philippines, not just Luzon. In fact, um, our our subsea cable we finished first quarter of 2021. This is uh, connected to besides Mindanao. My dream is to bring this digital land digital landscape to other country, not just only for consumer, but for our government to have a national broadband or e-government, e-health, e-education. All this should be have digital highway because I built this highway for the entire country to benefit to all sectors of the society. So we have a lot of new startup company. 
especially this e-commerce sector right now and this uh, social media that we're creating a lot of uh, uh, impact of uh, eyeball uh, in terms of fintech in terms of e-wallet all this kind of online businesses so this is we impact a lot to the young generation and if you have a good product end of the day like in my case right now because the branding of converts and the product is really good for the public by word of mouth nowadays they are calling us they are the one now approaching us because i believe when you have a good product roadblock is not, not a matter to us this is unexpected to everyone no? the new normal is uh is happened totally locked down so we adapt very quick because uh you know, we did knock down for public transport, all these people cannot go to work. So we need immediately to do some, uh, in the middle of the process, we have digital transformation. So people can uh, get in touch with us, especially in apps. Uh, in terms of call center, we need immediately because of the demand uh, supplies to, uh, supplies to high. So we immediately add on additional 200 lines and the call center you cannot maximize 100 percent anymore occupancy we just do 30 percent we need to open three uh, remote site dcp so we house our people here for almost two months we we provide them everything so you avoid this uh, pandemic uh, to affect to our people so suddenly the the demand went up to 400 percent so with anticipation of that we need to prepare to hybrid to surplus these uh, demands. We need to create more contractors, we need to buy more vehicles and hiring the people. We need to prepare them, but you cannot do it immediately, but hopefully this third and fourth quarter, we can uh, normalize our operation. The Philippine market is really underserved no? because of uh, if you're talking with uh, 25 million households as of today, you, I'm, I'm, I'm talking the space of uh, high-speed internet segment because the part of the DSL and this wireless broadband, this is not part of the high-speed because DSL cannot go give you a high-speed and wireless it cannot give you a high-speed too. So the st st stability of the network, is the quality of the internet, the fiber is deliver this best broadband to the consumer uh, in other country like Korea Singapore they've been almost 90% penetration to the home in terms of fiber sad to say our country is just only as of today maybe with just six seven percent penetration so there's a lot of underserved so the room of the opportunity is called ocean blue ocean opportunity imagine we have latest count we have just this month, we might close in close to 80,000 new, new ads. And in our survey, almost 90% of our new subscribers are first-time users of this fixed broadband. That means how far is the Philippines is with lack of infrastructure. We are trying our best. In fact, we are the speed of 150 to 180,000 new ports every month uh, with our uh, uh, MetroWords, our own construction company, we design, we lay, and we maintain. This is 100% on subsidiary of Converge. This is our advantage. We can control our speed because of uh, our uh, our professional uh, talent and our management team to handle this one. We want to serve the underserved of the country.